As the crowd continues to file in, we get set to bring you another exciting game. Thanks for joining us. Well, we've had quite a year so far with some incredible individual performances, and we're just about ready to get this one started as the Jaguars square off against the Vikings. They're lined up and ready for the kickoff, so let's go to the field for the start of the action. in to kick this one off. From the eight. Home takes this one back to the 26-yard line. Looking forward to this one, John, with two of the most talented running backs in the league. I'll tell you one thing. you got to be sure and wrap these guys up when you move in for the tackle. Tough physical run. runners First who can challenge. make you miss or run right over you. So you got to flow to the ball quickly and keep these guys in front of you. you let them get some open space where a defender is isolated one on one, they'll just kill you. The defense held their positions and didn't let them get very far. One yard gain on that play. Ball on their own 27. Ball on the 27 yard line. Screen. Only one man back. Gets the pass off. Knocked away. That's just great positioning by the defender. He has his eyes in the backfield the whole time, and he was right there to break the play up. Number 81 was his intended target. Third and nine. Ball on the 27 yard line. Stay deeper than the deepest. Third down. The Jaguars come out in a dime package. Dropping back. Under pressure. Throwing. The pass was incomplete. It was almost like the defenders were in the huddle on that series. They hit a roadblock with everything they tried. Kelly will come in now to punt it away. White is back to receive this kick. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 33 yard line. They'll First take and over 10. At the 33 yard line. First and 10. Only one man back. Going to the air on first down. Going deep. The wide receiver has it. They have a lot of respect for his speed. And a lot of times he gets a pretty big cushion. And that's where he's going to want to break off a route and use his speed to create run after the catch. So they have first and ten here. Number five, back in the shotgun. Pass play here on first down. He hits his receiver. Can't get it from behind. Thompson is there for the tackle. He had a little separation and managed to pick up some good yardage after the catch. Yeah, one more block and he would have easily gotten a first down. Let's see what they can do in the red zone. Ball on the 18-yard line. Under 10, 10. Keep moving. Let's go. Get this. Hand it off. Williams is there on the stop. That was a good job by the back. He just saw the hole, and boom. He hit it right in there for a few yards, and he got the chain gang moving. They're inside the 15. Bennett, the lone back. Home, the man in motion. A little misdirection. Hasty comes up to make the play at the nine. Then takes the handoff on the counter, picking up five. Nine yards, they'll be in the end zone. All nine yards. 
Number five starts out of the shotgun. To the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, Jacksonville. This is a good play by the offense in the red zone. The wide receiver is going to break away right here and come up with a catch and the touchdown. The point after is good. Perfect way to start this one off as they move the ball down the field for the touchdown. They came out with a plan on offense and executed it to perfection. Looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. From the five. Nothing happened for the offense on their last drive as they went three and out. Ball on their own 24. Jacksonville comes out in their nickel package. Hand it off to the back. Butler is there on the stop at the 35. That's a 12-yard gain. First and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. Got the snap down. Bring it up. Bring it up. Nickel back in this time. to the left. Richard is there for the tackle at the 40. It's important to pound the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they're going to bend. Second and five. Ball on the 40-yard line. Jacksonville using three linebackers. Dropping back. Pumps once. Throwing. He hits his receiver. They'll spot this one at the 48-yard line. He records his third tackle of the game. Seems like all they have to do is just throw it near this guy, and he finds a way to come down with it. Yeah, I was talking to the coach this week, and he told me that he's probably got the best hands in the team. And right there, he just showed his spot. Jacksonville comes out in a 4-3. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Gets rid of it. He was tipped. He's got great recovery speed. He can catch up to the ball even if he's caught out of position. That time he was right there in the secondary to tip the ball away. Second and ten. Ball on the 48 yard The Jaguars with a four man front. Rowing. He hits his receiver. Williams comes up to make the play at the 44. Johnson with a three-yard completion. That'll bring up third down. To convert on this third down, they have to reach the 38. Hey, watch that three! Gets the toss to the right. Butler is there for the tackle at the 38. And he was able to create a lot of space on that one, John. Well, it started with some good blocking. And when he got through there, he turned up field, and they weren't in position to tackle him. Ball on the 38-yard line. Ball on the 38-yard line. Jacksonville using three linebackers. Hand it off. Runs through the tackle. Richard is there on the stop at the 17-yard line. They get two first downs on two running plays. They're looking to pound it at him right now. 
first and this is the eighth play of this drive. They're inside the 20. So they're inside the 20. Need to get a touchdown. Hands it off. William is there for the tackle at the 11. Number 33 runs it through the middle again of about six. And this is the ninth play of this drive. They're inside the 15. The Jaguars line up in a 4-3. Drops back. Rolling out to his right. Throws one up in the end zone. You know, as a receiver, you have to be aware of so many things. Where the first down marker is. Where the defenders are. And where the sideline is, you just stretch out to make that catch. Hand was the intended receiver on that play. This is the 10th play of this drive. Only one man back. Gets the toss to the right. Breaks the back. Jackson comes up to make the play at the 12 yard line. So they come up short of the first on third down, and we should see the kicker here. This will be a chip shot. 29 yards out. The through the uprights and good. Ford makes good on the short field goal attempt after the offense drives it into the red zone. They had everything clicking at first and kind of sputtered out, but they still get points. Minnesota is lined up for the kickoff. White back to return. From the five. Kick the defense looks to rebound Kick after the, that last effort when they allowed a touchdown. Ball on their own 19. Start the drive at the 19 yard line. First and 10. Tucks it away. Grant is there for the tackle at the 22. Mixon runs with passes, keeps the defense on. And a pickup of about two. Second and eight. Ball at the 22 yard line. Dropping back. Steps up into the pocket. Pressure coming. Sends this pass out of play. He couldn't find a receiver, so he threw it where no one could get it. Ball on their own 22. Ball on the 22 yard line. Keep the throttle down. Number five spreads them out. Gets rid of it. And he makes no, he can't hold it in. All he can do is look at his hands and wonder what's the heck happened. Johnson comes into the game for the punt. Ferris lines up deep for the punt return. He signals for a fair catch. Fair catch made at the 40 yard line. The First and 10. will start the drive at the 40 yard line. First and 10. Number 33, the deep man. Play to the right. They'll spot this one at the 45. And that's now three tackles for him in this game. Two minutes left in the quarter. Ball on the 45 yard 
The Jaguars come out on a nickel pack. Spins away from the tackle. Drop in the backfield for a short loss. Good play by the linebacker to get into the backfield and stop the play for no gain. I'll tell you, that comes from watching a lot of film and knowing the tendencies of the opponent. That was a heck of a play. Ball on their own 44. The Jaguars line up in a 4-3. Drops back. Closing in. Rowing. Richards comes up to make the play at the 49-yard line. This is good communication between the quarterback and his receiver to keep the chains moving. They know where the first down marker is, and they recognize the type of coverage the defense is playing. The ball is there, and so is the catch. short loss. Hold on, we've got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. On the offense, number 26. The call is holding, and that'll push them back. That's what happens when your feet and your body get going in the wrong position. Ball on their own 41. The Jaguars come out on a nickel package. Dropping back the pass on first down. With the pass, knocked away. He needs to do a better job putting the pass in a spot where only his guy can get it. Those tip passes can turn into interceptions pretty easily. Norris was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Second and long. Ball on the 41 yard line. Danny, Danny, Danny. The Jaguars with a four man front. Rolls right, throwing across his body. Butler comes up to make the play. At the 30. John, they convert on second and long. It's a first down. Yeah, and when you have that kind of pass protection and a clear field of vision, then you can put everything into the throw and usually make it accurate and on time. The deep back. Johnson with a man in motion. They give it to the halfback. Buckley is there on the stop at the 25-yard line. This is a spot where you want to show the defense that they have to respect the running game. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Jaguars come out in a 4-3. Hand it off to the back. Jackson is there for the tackle at the 23. So at the end of one, the score is 7-3. Jaguars. The teams as much size and will strike the second quarter. 20-yard line would net them a first down here on this third down play. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Only one man in the backfield. Pollard comes up to make the play at the 19-yard line. Everything they do works on third down. Yeah, no matter what down it is, when you keep moving the chains and you keep the defense out in the field, you're having a productive drive. Ninth play of this drive. Let's see what they can do in the red zone. Red zone trip resulted in a field goal. Great play in the backfield by Fernandez. Good play by the linebacker to get in there and throw him for a loss. You're going to see him make those kind of plays. And when he does, it really gets the rest of the defense fired up. It's second down and a long way to go. What's the hard count? Hand the long back. Hand it off to the back. Sharp is there for the tackle at the 17 yard line. Hand got the call on the draw. Six yard pickup. So on third down, they had to get it to the nine to pick up a first. Watch your 
Jacksonville comes out in the dive back. Throwing. And he makes the grab. We're going to spot this one at the 13-yard line. He wraps up the ball carrier. His tackle total is now four. will come in looking to try the field goal. That the try is good. good. After the field goal, they're now down by just a point. We should have a return from the five-yard line. Keeping him at the kickoff returns 18 yards. It's still pretty early, but it's been an even game so far. We'll have to see who can take control on this drive. The ball on their own 24. Will start the drive at the 24-yard line. First and ten. Off, fakes the handoff with the pass. Miles was his intended target. Find the holes when they're there. Third and one. Ball on the 33 yard line. We got it, we got it, we got it. Out of the eye formation. They give it to the halfback. What a tremendous individual effort by the defensive lineman. That's the kind of defensive player you can build a team around. Having a guy like that up front allows you to drop seven or eight guys back in coverage and still get a pass run. Johnson is ready to pump this one away. Ferris looks like he's ready for the return. And he chooses not to return this one. Both teams have played pretty well so far. It's still anyone's game. Minnesota it's first and ten. Start the drive at the 34-yard line. First and ten. The Jaguars with a four-man front. Come on. In this direction, William dishes out punishment at the 35-yard line. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Second and nine. Ball on the 35-yard line. They line up in the I formation. Hand it off. Butler comes up to make the play at the 42-yard line. He's looked good so far. I just keep giving him the ball. Ball on their own 42. Ball on the 42-yard line. The offense has been stepping it up on third down all day. He hits his receiver. They're going to spot this one at the 44. That's the fourth stop he's made today. Williams appears to have sustained an injury and will make his way to the sideline under his own power. First Ball on the 44-yard line. Ball on the 44-yard line. Play football. Let's go. The Jaguars line up in a 4-3. Pollard is there for the tackle at the 42. One thing these guys don't want to do is give up in a running game. 
Because if they do that, they become one-dimensional. And that plays right into the defense's hand. Second and nine. Well, the good news on the injury front is that he is not badly hurt. They're doing a battery of tests to make sure, and they do expect him to return. Going long. He's got it. Touchdown, Vikings. Minnesota. Perfect throw against single coverage. Touchdown. Comes in for the extra point. The point after is good. Scoring a touchdown not only puts points on the board, it sends a message to the other team that if you execute properly, they won't be able to stop you. And they say 90% of the game is half metal. Minnesota is lined up for the kickoff. White back deep to return. From the five. Kickoff they forced a three and out on the last series. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Misdirection. Hasty is there on the stop at the 32. When you have a back that can average more than five or six yards a carry, you have to make sure that he gets the ball early and often. Second and three coming up here. With the pass. Knocked away. I don't know what happened there. The quarterback did his job delivering a catchable ball. He just couldn't come up with it. Third and three. Ball on the 32 yard line. Hands it on. Pop in the backfield. Yeah, we're short. Sure. That third down run comes up short, so we should see a punt here. Johnson will come in now to punt it away. Ferris is the deep return man. And he waves for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 40-yard line. Williams was back into the game after being injured earlier. They'll go from the I formation. Going to the air on first down. With the pass. He can't stay in bounds. An errant pass that time. The intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Turn it up now. The Jaguars come out in a 4-3. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Pressure gets rid of it. It's the point. The 40. Samuel is there on the stop at the 47 yard line. Run after the catch is so important. It allows you to run short patterns with the confidence that you can pick up more yardage once the catch is made. First Ball in midfield. Ball on the 47 yard line. Looking upfield. Williams comes up to make the play. Number 33 has shown why he's such a threat on the ground. He gets closer to 100 yards rushing. Second and three coming up here. 
Johnson from the shotgun. Throws it. Nice and close. Samuel is there on the stop at the 33. When you think about guys with great hands, he's very close to the top, John. I'll tell you what. He does a great job of using his hands and not letting the ball get into his body. He's worked very hard to improve his pass catching. And I think he's become one of the best out there. Pumps once. Sick. They have a bunch of guys in this defense that can really get after their quarterback. With their speed and quickness, they can get around the blockers and put a lot of pressure on the signal call. Second and 15. Ball on the 38-yard line. Only one man in the backfield. On the call. Tillman is there on the stop at the 35-yard line. They might not be busting off big games, but those linemen are really working hard down there. It's third down, and they have to get it to the 23 to convert. Consistent success on third down, which they've had, usually translates into a win. Gets the pass off. Nearly intercepted. What the defense is doing is they're watching the quarterback's eyes. They're pulling. They're in position so that whatever happens, the ball is in front of them. And that time, it almost got them an interception. to put everything he has into this one. The great kick. Not every drive is going to get you a touchdown, so getting three was big. Now they got to go over what worked and what didn't, so the next drive will get him a TD. From the five yard line. The defense forced the punt the last time after three plays. Almost at the two minute mark now. Bennett, the deep man. Number five sends a man in motion. Receives the handoff. Lincoln is there for the tackle at the 22-yard line. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Second, second down and six. and six to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Give it to the halfback. Campbell is there on the stop at the 27 yard line. As they get ready for this third down play, we'll take a look at how they've done today. Going to the first on short yardage. Rowan. Incomplete pass. I'll tell you, the defense made a great stand right there. Solid defensive effort to force the three and out. And he signals for the fair catch. So they have first and ten here. Keep the throttle down. Johnson back in the shotgun. Get it up. No pass on first down. 
Under pressure, gets the pass off, and he drops the pass. And there's not one wide receiver who can ever claim that he's never dropped a pass. It's just part of the game. Second and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. All on us, y'all. Jacksonville using three linebackers. Hey, let's go. The rush is on. Throws it. Complete to the wide receiver. Brings it in for a big game. Almost every wide receiver gets better at running routes as they get older. And this guy is no exception. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. They'll go with the quarter defense. With the pass. And it's complete. Jackson makes the play at the 30. Johnson, great athlete, and throws one of the prettiest balls in the NFL. Yeah, receivers love playing with him because he'll never hang you out to dry. That's something he's always had. Good rotation and a soft touch. Ball on the 30 yard line. Come on. Watch your eyes. With the carry. Fernandez is there on the stop. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Ball on the 27 yard line. Ball on the 27 yard line. Defense, get ready. The Jaguars come out in a 4 3. They'll go with a play fake. Gets rid of it. Jackson is there for the tackle at the 18 yard line. I like the quick decision by the quarterback. The defense didn't have time to react. 10 yard gain that time. Ball on the 18 yard line. Ball on the 18 yard line. From the start, from the start. They kicked the field goal the last time they were in the red zone. Throws it, grabs the off-target pass. It's three times on this drive they've been able to pick up a first down. Yeah, and the thing is, they'll be doing more than just picking up first downs if this success continues. They're going to be picking up some points. So they have 12 yards to go for a touchdown. The Jaguars come out in a 4-3. Steps up, gets rid of it, and this pass is completed. Johnson, Johnson picks up maybe a yard on that catch. Eighth play of this drive, down inside the 15. Jacksonville comes out in their nickel package. With the throw, it's batted away. It's a third down now after that pass fails to find the mark in the end zone. Ninth play of this drive. Ball on the 11 yard line. They've executed very well on third down so far, and that's a big reason why they're ahead at the moment. Incomplete pass. Minnesota comes up short on third down again. This will be a chip shot. Boots it through again. A total of four field goals in the game. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. And I'm sure they're thinking touchdown for their next one. Squib kick short. From the seven. Kick the defense did a great job on the last series, forcing the offense to go three and out. First and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. 
Only one man in the backfield. Tucks it away. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. The end of the second quarter with the score, the Vikings ahead of the Jaguars, 19-7. As we take a look at his success returning kicks, we get ready for the kickoff. So we'll get ready to go here in the second half. They'll return this one. From the five-yard line. Not what they wanted on that return. The returner needs to be a little more patient. He has to wait for his blocks to develop, find a seam, then run for daylight when he breaks through. The Jaguars will start the drive at the 16-yard line. First and ten. Only one man back. Hand it off. Tasty is there for the tackle at the 18-yard line. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Ball on their own 18. Ball on the 18-yard line. He gets the carry. This one will be spotted at the 20-yard line. He found the ball carrier to make his fourth stop of the game. Ball on their own 20s. The Vikings come out in a nickel package. Steps up into the pocket. Gets rid of it almost in a second. When you talk about ball control and time of possession, that's not what you want to see. Offense couldn't get it done in the lineup to punt. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. They'll take over at the 38-yard line. First and 10. Jacksonville goes with a four-man front. Hand it off. Richard comes up to make the play at the 42. He was looking for a place to run, but all those places were filled up with guys waiting to tackle him. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Number 33, the lone back. Lee moves in motion. With the pass... Wide receiver has it. Richard is there on the stop at the 46. The completion puts him over the 200-yard mark today. Ball on the 46-yard line. Jacksonville lines up in a 4-3. You give it to the halfback. Butler is there for the tackle at the 43-yard line. A big part of this guy's running style is to use the blockers to set up his cut. But they were nowhere to be found on that run. Second and seven. Ball on the 43-yard line. Blue game, blue game. the counter play. They'll spot this one at the 35-yard line. So that tackle now gives him four. They caught the defense out of position. And this defense is susceptible to that kind of thing. They're very aggressive. And the counter is designed to take advantage of that. You get them all going in one direction, then you cut back against the grain. Only one man in the back. 
backfield. Rutledge goes in motion. On the carry. Samuel comes up to make the play at the 28. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. you got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the opening. Second and three coming up here. Here we go, baby! The Jaguars line up in a 4-3. Dropping back. Throws it. And he is bumped out of bounds at the 24-yard line. So they're able to pick up another first down. And this offense is clicking. They're making the right calls at the right time. First and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Jaguars with a four-man front. A little misdirection. Butler records the tackle at the 10. And that game will give them a fresh set of downs. It was a great run. He saw his blockers create some room for him, and he accelerated right through the hole. Ten yards away from the end zone. The last time they were inside the 20, they came away with three points. They'll spot this one at the three. Is it on that stop? It's going to attack on number six. Three yards will get them six points. Touchdown, this is one of those plays where you let the big guys up front just plow a path right into the end zone for you. Comes in to attempt the point after. The point after is good. Good drive to start the third quarter, John. The coaching staff made some good adjustments in the locker room. And they came out moving the ball well. Now the defense has to make their adjustments to keep these guys in check. The Jaguars face an uphill battle as they begin this drive at the 21-yard line. First and 10. Ball at the 21-yard line. Miles goes in motion. it off. Tanner comes up to make the play at the 26. Tanner with a nice burst through the middle that time. Five yard pickup. It's second down and five to go. Come on. Go make the play. Come on. With the pass. The 40. He just unloaded on it. They get first down yardage on that hookup. First Ball on their own 41. The carry it. Lincoln is there for the tackle at the 42 yard line. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. Minnesota 
Minnesota comes out in their nickel package. Throws it, and it's intercepted. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. And he gets in there. Touchdown. Look at this one. He makes a great play in the ball, and he gets himself in perfect position to come away with the interception. The point after is good. The coach has to make sure his defense doesn't get too confident after that touchdown. Sometimes after a defensive score, they'll come back out and let the offense go right down the field and take the momentum back. White gets set to return the kickoff as we take a look at his stats. Ford will be kicking off. From the three. The defense made a great play the last time on the field, intercepting a pass and taking it back for a touchdown. Ball on their own 23. First and ten. Let's go. Set. Let's go. Cut. 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 First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Regular. What screen? Only Watch one man eyes. back. So we gonna take it. To carry it. Tanner is there on the stop at the 41-yard line. Bennett with a nice burst through the middle that time. Five-yard pickup. Ball on their own 41. Ball on the 41-yard line. Nothing. I don't get nothing. With the pass, complete to the wide receiver. Number five. Completes the pass for a five-yard gain on second down. Ball on their own 45. Ball on the 45-yard line. Here we go, baby. Nothing back. Bennett, the lone setback. Number five, sends a man in motion. Rowing. Tanner is there on the stop at the 36-yard line. When you have guys with speed that can get open downfield, it gives you the ability to run long pass pattern. But it all begins with the offensive line because they're going to have to hold their blocks a little longer because it takes more time for the play to develop. Watch a man. Holmes go, goes go. in motion. A little misdirection. Schmidt is there for the tackle at the 32. Then takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Ball on the 32 yard line. Ball on the 32 yard line. Dropping back. Going long to the left. Almost picked off. And as a defender, you don't get too many opportunities like that. And when you're able to get two hands on it in your end zone, you're in a perfect position. Heck, you have to make that interception. Third and seven. Ball on the 32-yard line. This side, this side. Stay back side. The offense has had trouble moving the sticks on third down so far. Tucks it away. Nice play for him. Norton 
is there on the stop at the 39. Number five trying to play action, but the defense was right in his face to get the sack. Yeah, there aren't too many times when a defender comes in that cleanly and gets a shot at the quarterback like that. That was a big blown assignment. Johnson comes into the game for the punt. Ferris sets up, waiting for the punt. He's waving for the fair catch. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Jaguars with a four-man front. Pollard is there for the tackle at the 25. Number 33 with a nice burst through the middle that time. Five-yard pickup. Ball on their own 25. Ball on the 25-yard line. baby, come on. The Jaguars come out in a nickel package. Off to the tailback. You can't pull him down. Buckley is there on the stop at the 39. Some of these guys are like a train. They lower their head, keep their legs moving, and charge it straight ahead. Sometimes he'll even drag a defender 10 yards before he'll start slowing down. Ball on their own 39. Ball on the 39 yard line. Let's turn it up, deep. Out of the eye formation. Johnson with a man in motion. Flips the tackle. They'll spot this one at the 49. He makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. The move to change again after another long gain on the ground. You know, I was talking to the coach the other day, and he said he wanted to emphasize a run a little more. And that's exactly what we're seeing. Ball on the 49 yard line. The Jaguars come out in a 4 3. A little misdirection. Uses to go down. Pollard comes up to make the play at the 42-yard line. The defense just seems to be out of position every time they give him the ball. It's second down and three to go. On the 42-yard line. Regular. Come on. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Vikings ahead of the Jaguars, 33-7. And we'll start the fourth quarter. Ball on the 42-yard line. Ball on the 42-yard line. Hey, watch the screen. Number 33 lines up behind his fullback in the odds. Richard makes the tackle at the 40. Number 33 battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pick. Third down, and to convert, they have to get it to the 39 on this play. Hand it off. Samuel comes up to make the play at the 32-yard line. He's showing no signs of fatigue as he bulldozes for 125 yards. Ball on the 32-yard line. Jacksonville using three linebackers. Fernandez is there for the tackle. That's another big run. Offensive line has been doing a pretty good job of opening up some holes. Second and four. Ball on the 26 yard line. There we go. Let's go, D. Let's go. The Jaguars line up in a 4 3. Hand it off to the back. Richard is there on the stop at the 19 yard line. Teams run in the middle about 80% of the time, and that's inside the tackle. So you have to be able to have some success doing it. This time, there was no problem getting it up in there. And this is the ninth play of the strike. They're in the red zone. Jacksonville comes out in their nickel package. 
Over the counterplay. Steamrolls the defender. Butler comes up to make the play at the seven yard line. It's another running play and they'll pick up another first down. Hey, when things are clicking like this, you just want to keep going for as long as you can. First it's first and goal at the, the seven. seven yard line. We're talking about real. Everything you got. Deuce is deuce. Jacksonville lines up in a 4 3. Hey. A little misdirection. Number 91 breaks the play up in the backfield. He with the run blitz and bottle him up. You'll see him do that kind of thing a lot. As a quarterback, you want to make your pre snap read. If you see him walking guys up to the line, you should audible to some kind of slant or quick out to take advantage. Going to the right. Jackson is there on the stop. Number 33. Runs off tackle for a gain of a couple. It's third and goal at the eight-yard line. Jacksonville comes out in their nickel package. Pressure coming. Looks to the end zone. Ooh, nearly picked up. And because of that drop, it would be interception. They can still kick a field goal. You can't miss chances like that to steal points away. This will be a 25-yard field goal attempt. But the attempt, attempt is good. The Vikings have it all working now as they continue to expand their lead. Four. to kick off. back to return. Not a bad kick. They'll set up for the return. From the six. It sure doesn't look like they're going to be able to come back in this one. But it's an issue of pride. They want to prove that they're better than they've played so far. It's first and ten. We'll start the drive at the 25-yard line. First and ten. The backs are lined up in an eye. Toss by the left. Hurdles three. They're going to spot this one at the 28-yard line. So he adds another tackle and now has six. Ball on their own 28. Ball on the 28-yard line. Get it up! Minnesota comes out in their nickel package. Throwing. Campbell comes up to make the play at the 38-yard line. This is what they have to do. Keep making completions down the field and move the chain. Watch this one. He knows he's got to get the first, and he picks the right guy to throw it to. Six-yard line. The defensive line sniffed that play out beautifully. The guys along the defensive line are very big and very active. And they're very good at sucking up blocks, opening holes for the linebackers to make plays when the other team decides to go with the run. The Vikings come out in a nickel pack. Closing in, looking for the long completion. Drops the interception. Close to a big play by the defense. And it probably should have been a big play. He had perfect position to get the interception. He just dropped it. Third and 12. Ball on the 36 yard line. Let's go! Bennett lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Drops back with the pass. Incomplete pass. 
That's his third drop. Farris into return. From the 24, pushes off. Ball on their own 27. The Jaguars with a four-man front. Here we go, baby. Bring it up, bring it up. On the carry. Richards comes up to make the play. Nothing doing that time, John, as the linebacker gets there quickly. He's one of those guys who's a sure tackler. He'll move up and play physically at the line, come on a blitz, and play the run just about as well as anyone on the defense. Ball on their own 27. The Jaguars come out in a 4-3. Pollard is there on the stop at the 30. The defensive tackle surge through the line to bring the runner down. It's third down and seven to go. What's the hard count? Number 33, the lone back. Hands it off to the back, fakes the handoff. Throwing. Samuel records the tackle at the 48. It's a risky call to send the corner, backfires, and they give up a first down. Some quarterbacks love blitzing corner because they know that there's one less cover man out there and they have a lot better shot at hitting someone in stride. Number 33, the lone back. Looks like somebody got off the line a little earlier. Tempo. Let's start on the offense. Number 85. Rutt Still first moved down. a little early there. Yeah, the rule for the offensive line is once you put your hand down, you can't move until the ball snapped. So now it's first and 15 after the penalty. Seven defensive backs in on this one. To the tailback. Butler comes up to make the play. These guys that can shrug off tackles are great to have in your backfield. Some of these guys are big and they just run over the defender. While other guys wait until the defender commits and they use a move or a juke or a spin to get out of a tackle. Hand the lone back. On the call. Great fake. Gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. He was really hit hard on that play. God, he has such a quick release, and the ball is out before anybody knows what's happening. And that makes it hard for him to be sacked, and it gives the defenders less time to react. So they have first and ten here. Let's go, boys! The Jaguars with a four-man front. It off. Richard comes up to make the play at the 27. And battles his way forward for what appears to be a two yard pick. It's second down and eight to go. The Jaguars come out of the four three. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Back to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Ball on the 29-yard line. Eighth play of this drive. Two-minute warning coming up. They've done very well on third down to this point. Hand off to the tailback. Buckley is there on the stop at the 25-yard line. Fourth down upcoming, but they're in position to add to their lead. Yeah, and that's what they wanted to do. Control the ball and the clock while getting into position to add at least three points. Right. 
four leads the field goal team into the game for the attempt. continue to increase their lead. from the three-yard line. This is one of those situations where they're playing for respect. The game really hasn't gone the way they thought it would, but they have a lot of pride in their team. And I'd expect to see them keep fighting till that final whistle. Ball on their own 21. The Vikings come out in a dime package. Throws it. He finds his man. Midfield. The receiver breaks free. The 20. The 10. Touchdown, Jaguars. I'll tell you, this is nice work by both the quarterback and the receiver in this play. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, looks for the best option, and then throws it to him. The extra point attempt is good. The Jaguars still down by a bunch. Not enough time to try to get the ball back, so the onside kick is the call. Here we go. From the 45. The Vikings will start this drive from the 44-yard line. The Jaguars with a four-man front. Hand off to the tailback. Richards is there for the tackle. They've done a good job moving the ball on the ground. And you can give most of the credit to that big offensive line. They've controlled the line of scrimmage from the very start. It's second down and five to go. on the 39-yard line. The Jaguars line up in a 4-3. Hand it off. This one is spotted at the 30-yard line. He is showing no mercy. He's on anything that moves, and that takedown was his ninth. So on the blitz, they can't get to the ball carrier until it's too late. And when you're blitzing to stop the run, the idea is bringing more guys and the offense can block. You also got to cut off the lanes and gaps that he can use to escape out of the backfield. That just didn't happen here. The Jaguars with a four-man front. Hand it off to the back. They'll spot this one at the 29. He's always in on a lot of tackles. Today is no exception. 10 for him. Ball on the 29 yard line. Ball on the 29 yard line. Watch the snap now. Hand it off. The 20, the back breaking free. Five, touchdown, Vikings. He gets a great block right here. To spring him for the touchdown. I tell you, he takes a defender right out of his shoes that time.
kick is good. good. The Vikings pour it on with another score. Like he's just about ready to kick this one off. Decent kick. We should have a return from the six. White is able to get it to a 28. Ball on their own 28. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here we go, baby. Minnesota with six defensive backs. Let's go, boys. Let's go. With the pass, this one falls incomplete. Time is working against them. Yeah, I'm thinking they're going to keep going to the air. But it might be a little too late. Second and ten. Out of the shotgun. Throws it. They like to throw it to the sidelines in situations like that. His throw was just a little off. Page was the intended receiver on that play. Third and ten. Minnesota comes out in their nickel package. Pressure. The Jaguars call a timeout. They have two timeouts left. It's almost like they knew what the snap count was going to be in that one. When he sees a rush coming, he has to know who his hot read is and get the ball to him more quickly. Ferris sets up to run back the punt. the 42. Ferris returns this one to the 48 yard line. Second and long. Ball on the 46 yard line. Deuce it, deuce it. You gotta have it, D. So that's strong. Let's go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. A lot of scoring, but a one sided game. This game is presented by the authority of the National Football League and EA Sports. Any publication, rebroadcast, or other use of the descriptions and accounts of this game without the expressed written permission of EA Sports is prohibited. This is Al Michaels. Good night.